Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and today I'm going to be presenting a tutorial on search engine optimization, specifically organic search engine optimization, which means how to get your website to rank high in Google without paying for it. AnsonAlex.com has received well over a million visitors in the year and a half that I've been running AnsonAlex.com and my YouTube channel is nearing 200,000 views, so I really pride myself in my search engine optimization skills and I hope by the end of this tutorial you'll feel confident that you can definitely improve your website's ranking in Google and Bing search results. Okay, so here I am on Google and to start out I just want to do a search. So I'm just going to search for search engine optimization. Okay, when I do that, I'm going to get a bunch of search results and there are a few very important factors that search engines take into account when ranking websites and the first one is the title of the article. So you'll notice that all of these first search results have search engine optimization as the first phrase in the title. Words that are farther to the left in your title are going to rank higher than words that are over to the right. So you'll notice this first, first search result has search engine optimization all the way to the left, then Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Now Wikipedia is a very trusted source, so it's going to rank high no matter what. The website has gained clout, which is another factor in search engine optimization. So the longer your website's on the internet, the more articles you have, the higher it's going to rank. But that isn't as important as the title. If Wikipedia had put Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia first, and then search engine optimization, I would guess that it wouldn't rank quite as high as it does. Notice another thing that Wikipedia does. You see the link, the URL of this article? It has search engine optimization in the URL. So that's something that you definitely want to do. Sometimes you'll go to a website and you'll see a URL that is like wikipedia.com slash 4569521. It's just a number. That's not going to help your SEO. You definitely want your link to have the keyword you're trying to rank for in the actual URL. And then the third thing that Wikipedia does really well is the first line in their article is search engine optimization. It's the keyword you're trying to rank for. That's also very important. In the first paragraph of your article, you want to have the keyword that you're trying to rank for. That's taking, taken very high into account by search engines. You also want that keyword to be spread out throughout your article, but you don't want it to be in there too much. There is an old search engine optimization trick called keyword stuffing where somebody would just create a page called search engine optimization and they would just write search engine optimization a thousand times on the page with pretty much nothing else hoping that it would rank the highest because it's written the most times. It used to work for a little bit and then search engines cracked down very quick. Uh, that brings me actually to a quick side note that I want to talk about and that is search engine algorithms are always updating. So some people have these black hat, these workarounds to get your article to rank high, but the problem is, is when the search engine company doesn't update, it might really, really hurt your ranking. So one thing that you want to think about as you're doing your search engine optimization is to always do it the right way. And in the end, what you want to do is try and provide quality co content. Content is still king on the web. It's always going to be king. And search engines are going to constantly update their algorithms to try and get the highest quality content at the top. So although there are a lot of techniques, which I'm showing you right now, that you can use to get your article to the top, the long-term solution is to provide quality content. I just want to stress how important that is. Um, so going back to this result, these results we're looking at right now, you'll notice that all of these first four articles have SEO or search engine optimization as the first word. Google knows that SEO stands for search engine optimization, so it's taking that into account as well. Even the fifth article has SEO and search engine optimization in the title, and all of them have the keywords in the description. So one thing that I definitely recommend is when you're uh, writing for your website, you want to do your SEO research before you even write the article. And one little trick that I use is I'll just go to google.com into the search box here, and I'll just start typing what I want to rank for. So if I'm trying to write an article on search engine optimization, I'll type that in and then I'll just hit the space bar and see the suggestions that it gives me because there's a couple things that these suggestions tell you. One is that a lot of other people are probably searching them. That's why Google's recommending them. And two, if somebody else is searching search engine optimization and all of a sudden they don't necessarily know exactly what they're looking for and they see some recommendations made by Google, they might click on one of these recommendations. So if you search search engine optimization tips, 
people are going to end up searching that a lot more because Google's recommending it to them. So that's definitely a very small beginner strategy you can use for doing your search engine optimization research. I'll even do something as simple as I'll search for tutorial. I hit the space bar and okay, there's four results right there, but then I'll hit A and I'll see what comes up. Okay, Android B, blog C, and I'll go through the whole alphabet and see what all the suggestions Google offers me are because you know people are searching those a lot. So that's definitely one strategy I use. I want to go back to um, some other methods you can use when actually posting your content. I'm going to search for a term that I know I rank number one for, and that is prepare Facebook profile. If I search that, you'll see AntonAlex.com is number one. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this article because there's something in here I want to show you, and it has to do with the images. You'll notice that there is an image in the very first part of my article. And if I go ahead and I open this image in a new tab, I want you to notice a couple things. First of all, I actually have the keyword I'm trying to rank for as the name of the image. So when you go to upload your images to your website, you want to do three things. You want to make sure that it's part of the file name. So prepare profile for Facebook timeline is the actual file name of my image. And when you go to specify the alt and title tags, you also want to make sure that you have your keywords in there. When Google and Bing search websites, they look at the pictures and they look at the alt and title tags and that weighs pretty heavily in search results. So you definitely want to optimize your images for search engine optimization as well. Now, when you're doing your research, there's another tool I want to show you, and that's the Google Keywords tool. If you just search Google Keywords, you'll see this tool called the Keyword Tool. And if you click on it, it actually runs with Google AdWords, which is how you would advertise on the internet, but you don't have to use this for advertising. You can use it for keyword research for search engine optimization. So I can just type in search engine optimization up here in the word or phrase part and I have to enter this little code unless I log in and I'm not logged in right now and then I'm just gonna hit search and you'll notice that it comes up with a whole bunch of keyword ideas for me and I can look over here and I can see the competition for each idea and I can see how many searches that keyword has so a lot of times I'll sort this column by the amount of searches so I can see the keywords that are searched the most so how to SEO is searched a lot and the competition's medium. Okay, so I could go through this list, and I could try and find a low competition one. There isn't one in my list right now. Um, so what I could do is I could hit this advanced options and filters, and there's a ton of things you can do with this. Uh, but real quick, I'm going to filter ideas. I'm going to choose competition, and I'm just going to hit low. So I only want to see the results that have low competition for search engine optimization. I hit that and now you can see I have a whole bunch of results that have low competition. I'm still sorted by the global monthly searches, so SEO consulting. Well, that's a, a term that a lot of people are looking for and it's got low competition. So that might be something you might want to try and rank for. So then what you can do is you can go back to Google, google.com, and you can type in SEO consulting, hit the space bar, and then see what people are looking for in addition to SEO consulting. So you could write an article just on SEO consulting fees. And if I do a search for that, you'll see that there aren't too many articles. If you wrote an article and you named it SEO consulting fees, you put in the URL SEO consulting fees, and you put in the description SEO consulting fees, and then you wrote a quality article, you had an image in there that had the alt title tag SEO consulting fees, I could almost guarantee that you could rank number one or at least in the top five in Google because one thing that's happening here is Google knows that fees is a synonym for rates so it's showing this article and this article has pretty good SEO because it's got it in the title but nothing in the description doesn't have it in the URL um, so there's a, a term right there I just gave you an article <laughs> in this tutorial um, so there is a lot to SEO but definitely title description images and then the actual content within your article are really, really going to help you rank high in Google. Uh, do your research before you write. Synonyms are great as well. So if I'm doing SEO consulting fees, if I'm writing an article on that, I might put in SEO consulting fees in the first paragraph. And then when it comes to mention this topic again, I might, see, I might say SEO consulting rates, prices for SEO consulting. Use synonyms. Google is going to be become more and more aware of synonyms as time goes on. And just remember that these algorithms are always, always updating. So do the right thing, provide quality. Don't try and go around the system because even if it helps you today, 
tomorrow, your result could be number 591,000 if you don't do it the right way. So I hope these tips helped. Again, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com. And by the way, um, if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate a like, a thumbs up. And if you want to see more technology tutorials and software tips, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.